am one of the teaching artists with Motel Arts, a nonprofit out of Twist, Washington. Today I'm standing in the snow because we're going to be doing some art inspired by the snow and by this book. So this project, all you're going to need is some paper and watercolors and crayons. And if you don't have watercolors, we can just use crayons and paper or whatever you have. And in just a moment, gather those materials and we'll get started. The Snowy Day. One winter morning, Peter woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It covered everything as far as he could see. After breakfast, he put on his snowsuit and ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the street to make a path for walking. Crunch, 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 his feet sank into the snow. He walked with his toes pointing out, like this, and then he walked with his toes pointing in, like that. Then he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks, and he found something sticking out of the snow that made a new track. It was a stick, a stick that was just right for smacking a snow-covered tree. Down fell the snow, plop, on top of Peter's head. So you can see the tracks he's making in the snow. He thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight, but he knew he wasn't old enough, not yet. So he made a smiling snowman, and he made angels. He picked up a handful of snow, and another, and still another. He, picked it, he packed it round and firm and put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. And then he went into his warm house. He told his mother all about his adventures while she took off his wet socks. And he thought and thought and thought about them. While he slept, he dreamed that the sun had melted all of the snow away. But when he woke up, his dream was gone. The snow was still everywhere, and new snow was falling. After breakfast, he called to his friend from across the hall, and they went out together into the deep, deep snow. And that is the end of the story. Okay, so I have my paper. I have my blue, red, and brown crayons. I have my watercolors and some water for my watercolor and a napkin. So let's go ahead and draw something inspiring from the Snowy Day book. I'm going to use my blue crayon first. I'm going to start over here on the left. I'm gonna go up down, make a little bump, and I'm gonna make a flat spot over here. This is where my character, Peter, is going to be walking. So I have my flat area there. And then we're going to draw Peter with the red crayon because in the book, he's wearing a red snowsuit. And so right here, we're going to draw Peter walking away in his snowsuit. So the first shape I'm gonna draw kind of this teardrop pointy shape. This is his head with his hat that points up like the book. So that's up here. And then down here I have room for kind of a rectangle shape. And then these are going to be his legs. We'll put little feet there. And then we have arms. This one will stick out a little bit more. We don't really need to worry about hands because in the book his snowsuit kind of covers everything up. So this is Peter. Once you have the shape, we're going to color this in with crayon. So I'm coloring it in. This is Peter's snowsuit. You can even make it come out a little bit like he has a coat on and then snow pants 
What color is your snowsuit? Red would be a fun color. Okay, so there's Peter walking away in the red snowsuit. And then I'm going to use my brown crayon and I'm going to draw a stick. Remember in the book, he had a stick that he liked to draw in the snow with? So I'm just gonna put a little stick, just a straight, straight line there. So he's holding a stick, all right? So I have my red and brown crayon, I'm done with, I'm gonna put that to the side. Now what's Peter doing? He just walked there and we're going to create some art down here to tell the story of what he just did. So remember in the book where he walked this way and he walked that way and he made different footprints? We're going to use our blue crayon and we're gonna do a little oval, the size that we think his feet are. I'm gonna go that way, I'm gonna draw oval this way, I'm gonna draw oval this way. I'm angling them out because this is where I'm gonna say that he was walking from. Maybe he needs one there. So he stepped, step, 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 all the way to there. And what, what kind of design do you think his stick made? If you could drag a stick in the snow, what design would you make? I'm gonna draw kind of a broken curvy line. I'm leaving little breaks. Cause usually I pick up my stick a little bit, pick up my stick. I can draw what kind of design you would make if you were dragging a stick. We have all this space over here. What do you think Peter did over here? One of my favorite things to do in a big field of white snow is make a snow angel. And in the book, he did that. So remember the shape of his body? We're gonna turn that shape into a snow angel. I'm gonna turn my paper a little bit because I'm going to point his head this way. So I'm going to use my blue crayon. Somewhere up here, I'm gonna draw that teardrop shape that's going to be his head print in the snow. And instead of just arms, when you make a snow angel, they kind of come out as wings, right? So I'm going to make kind of these wing shapes in the snow. And then the body comes out and it kind of curves out this way. And then a smiley face like that. It's kind of like a bird shape. But if you were making a snow angel, your arms would be here. This is your body. And right here is kind of where your feet come together. So that's going to be Peter's snow angel. All right, so this is a snow angel. This is his footprints. Now I'm going to be done with my crayon. And I'm gonna set my crayon to the side. I'm going to get my paintbrush. I'm going to dip my brush in the water get it nice and wet and we're gonna do the sky first so find your purple let's make a fun purple sky so I'm putting some water in my purple and then I'm going to paint everything above my snowy hill and I'm gonna keep adding some water to my purple and with this, guess what? We can paint over Peter because we use crayon, right? So we're going to just make a nice purple sky. You can do purple and blue if you want. I'm just going to add, we'll be doing some blue down in the snow area. So I thought it'd be fun to use purple instead of blue for our sky. Could also use black and keep it really light gray. All right, so there's our sky and we still have Peter. Peter's still there with his stick. Now I'm going to rinse my brush out and I'm going to put a couple drops of water in my blue, maybe three drops. Swish that around now I'm going to gently use the tip of my brush 
and not have too much paint on it, I'm kind of dabbing my paintbrush off and I'm going to paint his footsteps. See the brush just fits nicely in these little ovals, brush tip. I'm not pushing very hard. That's the shadow inside the little snow hole where your footprints are. All right. And then our snow angel is gonna be shadowed too. So we're gonna use the blue also. And we're going to paint really lightly and maybe not fill it all the way in so it looks like a snowy shadow. This is where you can be kind of messy inside your picture little snow shadows and then I'm going to drip my paint on water one more time a little bit of blue and I'm going to come up here with my paintbrush on the side and I'm just going to kind of do a wobbly light blue snow on my hill some shadow on my snowy hill and maybe I'll dip my brush just a little bit in the paint and do a little shadow snow down here and then with the tiniest tiniest tip of my brush I'll come over and paint over my stick lines so we have Peter from the snowy day doing his footprints his stick print in the snow and the snow angel Go ahead and catch up. And then of course, like any art, if you'd like to sign it, you can use your crayon, you can use your paintbrush and do your initials. And then you did art inspired by the book Snowy Day.